today we are tying a river pattern check names very effective fly on the hook I'm using is grub hook size 12 remember this is a heavy pattern so I'm going to be using some lead to add some weight on the fly and just about here so I have to add a little bit more weight in the middle to make it a little bit bulky in the center of the hook it looks more like a realistic bug you know right the thread I'm using is Olive 60 uni thread also for the bark we'll use the nim skin shell bark and I'm using a 3 millimeter monofilament to give a ribbing on top of the shell bug to get some segmented shape so also some dubbing for the body it's a mixed dubbing which is yellow, olive, red, orange no, all different colors. You can use any color to be honest with you. But I prefer this one because it looks beautiful. So, shall we start tying now? Some yellow, some wax on the thread. It's, um, just going to start from there to catch all the lead under the thread. It's a bit loose turn. That's fine. Just come along. I'm just building in the middle of the hook. A bit bulky body in the middle is nice because it makes a nice shape of the name. So it looks beautiful when the fly is finished. Right, so coming well up. bit more wax on it. I'm just going to stop just about here to catch the shell bug. As you can see I cut this nice pointy just to catch it. It makes it easier to catch on. Make sure it's right in the center and then give a little stretch and bring it down nicely and make sure it stays in the middle of the center of the hook yeah, that looks nice now just going to go back up again I always use my wax to keep the thread nice and strong. Now this is a 3mm modern filament. I've already put on this bobbin holder. I just find it easier to you know, build up the nice body. About here, just a that's fine. Right, I cut this.
Let's spin the bobbin anti-clockwise to open the thread a little. Now I'm going to use some dubbing. It's a nice dubbing. This coloring is beautifully done. It's blended nicely. Now if you just come down with the pin, keep turning. See sitting nicely on top of the hook and pull it this again. Just that's fine. That's very well done. Now Hold this nymph skin nicely, bring it over as long as it stays on nicely on top of the hook. Just catch it with the thread here, a little stretch, a couple of turns. You can see, um, yep, that's fine. You can alter this after anyway. Uh, let's make sure it's nicely done. I'll just pull it off nicely, but be careful. You can snub this. Now this is done now. So what I'll do, I'll just whip, finish this here, and finish off with this thread. Um, makes sense. Now, this one of this is a tricky bit to make a nice shell body. Yes, uh, this is why I use bobbin so you can feel it's very easy to tie with the bobbin. Now, I don't want to catch any of the dubbing going over the shell. That's fine. It's coming up very nice. That's very nice. And that's it. I'm just about I have to alter this hook. Now this is a little bit in the front but it doesn't matter. Now you can see catching all the bits and bars and pulling them back backward. Now that's my finish. Fine. Now I have to check either side is equally set on the top. Get off the waist is hmm. now dubbing brush to pull a little bit. Just make give it a realistic look, you know, just if you pull it down. And this is it. That's your check name is almost ready. I'll just cut that off. Just uh, that's beautifully done, and um, this is your check names. I'll just give a little bit coloring on the top, which is normally you can use orange, black, mainly the black. So I'll do just about three to four millimeter on the head. Now this is almost and also if you want to add some more colors I use this uh, light brown just to give a little bit beautiful body you know on top of the 
skin. As you can see, it looks beautiful. Now, the final bit what I'll do is give the varnish. I mean, this is almost ready. Normally, it's all done, but I always prefer the varnish on top of the nymph. It looks once it dries off, it looks really, really nice. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit wet, but once it dries off, it will give a realistic look. And thus, your check nymph is done. Thank you very much for watching.